Hello everyone, welcome back to week 8 of Flea Market Finds, and these are the finds I found the weekend of March 26th and April 2nd. Sorry if I sound different, I was recently sick, that's also the reason why I decided to combine the two weeks together. But besides that, starting off with the finds from March 26th and 27th, I bought two watches for $30, the one being the Casio Model AQ-200. It's from the 1980s, it's an Anadigi. It's not running, I tried putting a battery in it. And I also tried cleaning it. I'm going to sell it for parts and repair for 20 bucks. also bought a Hoyer. It's a stopwatch. This was also broken. I knew what I was buying. And also the guy knew what he had. He sells watches. So this is not really like a rare box find for a dollar. I already sold it for 40 bucks within a few hours. That's really for the watches. On to the second items. For the second lot of bulk items, I bought $7 worth of Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. A lot of individual cars were $2, and the super fast 50th anniversary match boxes were $5. The Johnny Lightnings, the two, the Camper, and the Jeep, I'm selling for 5 bucks. The rest of the cars I'm selling for 3 and the 50th anniversary cars I'm selling for 5 apiece. Starting off with the third bulk lot of items, I bought a bunch of manga and also a figure. The figure was 2 and I'm selling it for 5 It's Bad Girl. It's made by Funko. The mangas, I'm selling anywhere from 5 to 10 depending on if they're more popular. The Bleach and the Attack on Titan, I'll be selling for more, of course, because they're more mainstream. Also, along with the toys, I bought Legos for 15 I don't really need to go over those because you've seen those in past videos, but that's really it for March 26th and 27th on to April 2nd and April 3rd. For April 2nd, I bought a Polaroid LAN camera. Model 150 for 10 bucks, and I'm selling it for 20 I don't know if it's working. Now, along with the filming equipment, I bought three light meters. Two of them are made in Japan, and the one is made in Germany. I believe the two are also made by Seiko, which is very interesting. They don't really seem to work, though, so I'm selling it in a bulk lot for 35 and I bought those for 9 But the really cool thing I bought was a Sakura watch. I bought it for 20 bucks. I talked the guy down to from 50 to 20 It doesn't run. I tried to get it serviced, but it didn't work. I'm going to sell for parts and repair. There's one on eBay for 300 that's running, so I'll probably be able to make at least m maybe upwards of $50 on it if I'm lucky. The cool thing about these is that they were actually bought by Britling, and this one was made in the 1970s. It's very clean, a very good example. That's really it for the rest of March and also the first week of April. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you the best of luck in April. Goodbye.